Excuse me. Next on our program is Michael Sullivan. Uh, Mr. Sullivan is our uh, city councilman from our area, and we would like to welcome you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Carolyn. You know, before I make my brief comments, I'll recognize two elected officials that I see here, uh, county attorney, district attorney, county. county attorney, excuse me, Vince Ryan, and uh, former city council member, right? Yes. Good, so welcome. And I look out and I see Dan Huberty. Dan Huberty is president of the Humble Independent School Board. Dan, raise your hand, please. Um, First chance I've had to publicly congratulate Dan on winning the state representative race for Republican nomination. Uh, he'll be on the ballot in November. Longtime supporter and friend, and glad that he's here. I want to thank everybody for coming out. Great facility. It's been exciting to be a part of this from design to groundbreaking to ribbon cutting, and uh, I won't be the one to check out the first book. I don't know who that's going to be, but that'd be quite an honor, too. I hope it's some little four-year-old that, you know, is tagging on his mama's uh, uh, belt. But anyway, we're glad you're here. Great community project. Good to support the community, bring tax dollars back, working with our partnership here with uh, County Commissioner Jerry Eversall and, of course, Ms. Goldberg heading up the library side of the equation. Uh, folk, our friends of Library Kingwood, uh, continue to do an outstanding job who nurtured an old library along 25 years, right, Commissioner? A uh, long, long time, but uh, we're glad to be here and going into the next uh, generation, if you will, of library and electronics, technology, and service to the constituents. So, Ms. Goldberg, uh, congratulations. Ms. Uh, Dr. Lawson, uh, appreciate you being here, and I'll turn it back over to folks. Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you. Next, we have Addie Wiseman, who was in on this project from the very beginning. So, welcome, Addie. Hello, Hello and good morning. Well, what a wonderful day. It is finally here. <laughs> finally, after years and years of work by so many people. Back in 2001, I had approached Commissioner Eversall and said, Commissioner, if and when I take office down at City Hall, I would really like to build a joint city-county library, as we have in Clear Lake. Would you be interested in doing that? And his response was, Addie, I would love that. And it started from that point, and we began working on it. We worked on it for so many years against many obstacles. We overcame those obstacles and moved it forward back in 2003, August of 2003, when. Kingwood Library celebrated its 20th anniversary. I'll never forget Francis saying, okay, now remember, we've got to have that new <laughs> library. <laughs> Francis and, the, and our friends over at Pope really helped to push this forward, helped to be the support that we needed to make sure that this came to fruition. I also am so pleased that I had such great folks on my Citizen Advisory Committee back then, such as Fred Kreiss and Marion Burroughs, who made sure that we did stay on target with this. The Clear Lake grand opening happened in 2004, and it was again that reminder that we were doing the right thing, working hard, moving forward. And then in November of 2005, we had a wonderful opportunity. We had a meeting with the county attorneys, the city's attorneys, with Commissioner Eversall and myself, and representatives from both library systems and our building services director, we had so many folks in there because the issue we were dealing with, we were almost, we were this close to getting it built. The issue was land. We needed land. We needed this land where it sits today. And the way we made that happen, and I do want to thank the attorneys that worked hard to, to find the solution, we wanted to swap land with the current or now former library. That, this land was purchased with parks bond money, but it had not yet been de dedicated, and that's what made it happen. So one department sold it to another. We swapped land with the county. Next thing you know, we have a place to build the library. And it was such an excitement to be able to announce it at our CIP meeting in 2006 that we were building a library. So exciting. And then I was even more excited in 2006 when Kirksey presented their 3D rendering of this facility. And I'm so pleased that it looks just like the 3D rendering. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. It's nice when designers stick to the design, isn't it? <laughs> 
but again, it wouldn't have happened without the hard work of so many people. Commissioner Eversall, I'm forever grateful. Forever. Francis and the friends at Faux, thank you so much for, for constantly being behind us and telling us we got to get it done, got to get it done. Of course, Barbara Gubbin and Tony Lambert, Dr. Lawson, Kathy Parks, and Rhoda Goldberg could not have happened without all of you. And a, a man that worked so hard to make this happen, Issa Dadouche. Issa's right here. Issa, will you raise your hand so everyone can see the master behind the magic. I had one request that I had of him, of the many, I had so many requests, but one request was when I leave office at the end of 2007, we have to have this to the point of no return. And he said, we will get it there. And we did. He worked so very hard to get us to that point. And nothing, not a freight train could stop this. <laughs> uh, if someone tried really hard, I'm sure they maybe could have found a way, but it went forward. And I thank, I thank Mayor Parker and Councilmember Sullivan for, for supporting the project and helping to move it forward. And thank you for listening to all those, <laughs> all those requests, back and forth, back and forth. And Mayor White, of course, was wonderful in working with, on this because he worked so very hard to help make this happen as well. And I'm sorry that he could not be here today. Thank you, Kirksey, for a wonderful design. I want to thank everyone. We do this for our children. I did this not only for my son, but for your children and our future. So thank you so much for the support. Thank you for being here. And thank you for helping make this dream of so many become a reality. Thank you. We have our uh, county commissioner, Jared Eversall. Thank you very much. I uh, hate and won't tolerate, as Gus said, I mean, as uh, Woodrow said in Lonesome Dove, I don't tolerate rude behavior. Well, being late to me is rude behavior, and I apologize for being late. I do wish to explain to you, though, I got stopped by a local sheriff's deputy. Uh, he explained to me when he saw uh, that it was me, he said, Well, I, I stopped you for suspicion of speeding. <laughs> And then he spent the next 15 minutes telling me how he loved his job. <laughs> so I would have been here 15 minutes early had I not had to visit with one of our local law enforcement. <laughs> uh, I have not I've been in the presence of, of Mayor Parker since her election, so I offer my belated congratulations. I look forward to the opportunity of county government and city government doing not just this fabulous project, but other fabulous projects. My very close and I consider great friend, Congressman Ted Poe, uh, it is a welcome to have you back in Texas where you belong. <laughs> and uh, it also is great pleasure for me and for all of your constituents to see you in Washington uh, doing the job that you're doing. Uh, we appreciate that greatly. To the uh, Houston Library Director and to her staff and to our Library Director, Rhoda Goldberg, uh, I appreciate their patience I appreciate their input into this, and I look forward to this being one of those things that I call an amenity instead of those things that we consider obscenities. This obviously is an amenity, and we look forward to its success in this community. So again, forgive my lateness, and again, thank you for being here.